to complete ansible 2 click on ansible here is the pdf right click open in new tab it has nine steps and it will take around two hours in step one it is just asking us to revisit our work in step two it is asking us to power up our vs code it is asking us that we can download an extension called yaml which could be helpful so let's go to extensions and look for yaml let's install it then in step 3 it is telling us that we can get more information about the command if we give hyphen v to get the full information just give hyphen v five times so let's give a command here and then give v one time now let's run the same command by giving more v's five times and you will see that more information is now showing in the execution so you can use hyphen v to get more data and hyphen v five times to see even more data five times v will show the full details of the execution in step 4 it is telling us that there are examples in the playbook you can take those examples and copy paste into the answer more examples are also given in this link so let's go to vs code and here you can see some examples are given task run here is some more submit job you can see here task is given and it is submitting a job here is another so you can use all of these examples in the final output or you can go to this link and see even more examples in step 5 it is describing the zos modules in ansible so you can read it in step 6 it is telling about ascii and unicode you can read it it is also describing about absidic you can read all of it then in step 7 it is asking us to go to public dot input and inside it a member called ansible so let's go to vs code here is public dot input open it here is ansible click on it this is the data this is coded in ascii it is the ascii format ascii format we have to encode it into absidic format again now we have to convert ascii to absidic to do this we have to use the zos code module so let's go to this collection here you can see modules click on it here you can find zos encode here is zos encode and this is the format of the module here are some of the examples this is converting from ibm 10472 iso 8859 so we have to take example from here and create an ansible playbook the output of the playbook should be in the source data set so let us create this playbook now let's go to submit job yml let's copy everything here and let's paste it into convert.yml let us now remove all this code instead of here we will put our own code let's give a name here change encoding from s key to f c dick here the module is zos and code then give the source data set let's go to the web page and see the details here is zos and code we have to give source destination from and to so let's copy this and put here let's give the indentation the source is uh, z x p dot public dot input and in the bracket we have to give and c build and destination will be in the source data set so let's give here z 04085 dot and destination should be dot source let's give the name s key ct 
from encoding should be ISO and to encoding is IBM 1047. Control S to save. So let's first create this SKCT member. Let's go to source dataset, create new member. So this number is created, it is currently empty. Let us now run this job and let's see the output. The name of the file is convert.yml. Press enter. And you can see OK one and changed one. So it ran successfully. Let's check the output. Here is SKCT. Right click and pull from mainframe. And you can see this is the content of the data set. We have successfully converted it from ASCII to EBCDIC. Good job, you have successfully used an Ansible playbook to convert ASCII to EBCDIC. It is also asking us to complete these two steps. It is telling us to copy this file to the home directory in the USS and the name should be Ansible to complete. And in the last line, we have to add a message and we have to enter our user ID in that message. So let us create a new playbook. So let's copy all this, control A, C. So let's create a new file, touch, copy.yml. Here is copy.yml, right click and paste, control S to save. We do not need to encode, we just need to copy. And these are the modules you can see ZOS copy. Click on it and you can see many examples are here. For example, copy local file to USS. So instead of encode, let's give copy. Here let's write copy ASCII file to USS and add a line. Source is this one. Z zero four zero eight five dot source and then in the bracket A S C I I C T destination should be Z zero four zero eight five and civil two A N S B two complete. This should be the name. So let's copy and paste it. Remove these lines from encoding to encoding and the syntax is remote source is equal to true so you have to copy this also so give here remote source true and then we have to insert a line for that we can give echo echo then give here user id z04085 has completed the challenge and see well here let's give name, add a line in the end and then here give shell. So this shell command will execute and it will put in the which data set. The data set name is ansb2 complete. Control S to save. So first it will copy and then it will run a shell command for echo into the output data set. Let us now run this. It ran fine. OK to and change to. So let's check Ansible to complete. So this is Unix. Let's open this. Let's search for my user ID. This is Ansible to complete. Click on it. This is the content. And in the last, there is a line which contains my username as well. Let's go to the PDF. To complete this, just submit check AANS2 in public.jcl. So this is public.jcl. Go inside, check AANS2, right click and submit job. Now submitted 3008. Let's go to jobs. Here is 3008. Condition code is 0. Check state system print and you will see status is correct. 
So we have successfully completed this challenge as well. So let's go to our website. Go down and congratulations, you worked out the playbook. You have completed this challenge. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.